This is Matthew Brom, a.k.a. Matty Adams. Hey, how's it, how's going, it going, bro? What's great. happening, man? How's I'm it going? doing great. It's great to be on. Start off with your your love for space, man. I, I, I really admire how your channel is focused mainly on the atmosphere like the, the yeah, space it's, and it's, it's awesome it's mainly on outer space i do some kind of <laughs> other science stuff like i did one video about why it's colder by the lake in the summer and warmer in the winter but mm -hmm. so just i don't know kind of things that interest me and like you were saying earlier i watch a lot of science youtube videos and a lot of times i'd find myself <clears throat> searching for things and you can't necessarily you know you need to actually go read papers about it and stuff and there aren't necessarily videos about it so you know, I, I try to do things that aren't out there or, you know, maybe find things that I can cover in a way that people haven't. And <clears throat> I know, just always loved outer space since I was a kid. And yeah, for sure, man. That's cool, dude. That's real cool. Oh, um, yeah. I'm definitely into all that space stuff, man. Like I, for as long as I, I don't even know how long, man, I was kind of intrigued to see someone else do like not to say I don't have the balls to do a science you know, channel, but. You know, I definitely applaud you for taking that route because it's not an easy route to take either, you know. Mm -hmm. so. I agree. It's not. It's not. But <clears throat> you seem to have captured quite the audience as far as subscribers go and things like that. It looks like you're almost at 10K, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's been doing pretty well so far. Yeah. So, you know, and really it started off as a hobby. I mean, like you guys, I have a full-time job. I, um, I used to be in the Army. Now I work in IT. But, you know, so I work 40 hours a week full-time and, you know, it just started out as... Hey, let's you know make a few fun videos, and next thing you know, I was actually kind of getting a lot more serious about it than I than I thought I would. So yeah, I just started out with making little simulations of the universe, kind of, and they have these um, like different simulation programs you can download where you can just mm -hmm. try to make a planet warmer, or crash asteroids into it, or you know, oh, wow. yeah. just fun little experiments like that. And I would just screen capture it and not even really edit anything. And now it's a lot more picky and doing a lot more editing and yeah. all that fun yeah. stuff. So. For sure, man. Yeah. yeah. So you said you you were in the army. I didn't even know that about you. You you started where where what was your my my MOS? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I worked Sorry. with Patriot missiles, so it was, you know, like the surface to air missiles. So it's actually like a defense kind of thing. We'd shoot down other scuds essentially. So if, you know, one one nation's launching missiles at another one, we would shoot down missiles, but you know, it's it's evolved a lot more now with drone warfare and stuff like yeah. that, but you know, they're they're meant primarily Initially to shoot down airplanes and things like that, but they, they're not really used on airplanes as much because there were some incidents. So that's what you were doing in the army is you were... I worked on the radar, yeah. Oh, so. nice. That's cool, dude. I love that it. is cool. I <laughs> love drones. I've actually, sweet, I'm actually planning on getting a drone soon. Obviously not to buy anybody, but <laughs> maybe I might fly it over to uh, Matt's house. And yeah. <laughs> drop a, oh, yeah. a couple of eggs or something on his oh, house yeah. or something. That'd be kind of cool. Hell yeah. Um, Chicken or the egg? <laughs> <laughs> um, what so, came first, Matt? The chicken or the egg? I guess it'd have to be the egg, right? Of course. You'd think, yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. It'd have to be. Dinosaurs laid eggs. But where did that egg come from, though? Fish. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there, okay. was, there was fish before anything, and they were laying eggs. So, so. a fish made a chicken? Well, you're kind of <laughs> squeezing millions of years into one, okay. one day, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, we've never really figured out how life started out of nowhere yeah. yet. <clears throat> there had to have been some sort of event, I guess, right? Yeah. So, I, I do believe in a, some type of higher you know higher power i believe that there was something that created it. i don't think that it was just a bang and then it was because some that bang got started by something right? right it's it's possible you know and i think one of the hardest things about my channel is uh, moderating either really religious people versus really hardcore atheists and stuff mm -hmm. and yeah i'm sort of in between so i just i think science should be for everybody and you yeah you know you can have your beliefs about god and also still like i said it's between that and and flat earthers like i said are toughest things in the comments when you have a science channel oh yeah for sure and the thing about science is science is not really subjective i think science can be influenced and stuff like like the scientific process tries as hard as it can i think to eliminate problems but you mm. like what companies are funding for example right exactly. like, like yep. is coca-cola funding a study about dehydration so i got a question real quick too i i don't know how long you've been with to the computers and the whole tech stuff but like what got you into it like what got you into the whole computer tech media youtube all this stuff like what was the start of all this for you well, when I was a really young kid, my, my best friend, his dad had like four or five computers in his basement and he built computers 
And so we'd play video games down there. So, and then my job in the military was pretty technical. And when I got out of the army, a lot of veterans struggle sort of adjusting back to civilian life. So I wanted to make sure that I could use my GI Bill, got my degree and yeah. tried to actually make sure I had a good transition. I was like, well, what's something I'm actually good at? I've always been really good with computers. So, you know, and then, and then they had like IT specialists available in the reserves. So when I got out of active duty, I switched to that in the reserves and that got me like some of my college credits and my foot in the door a little bit and stuff. So. 